Okay, let's get you thinking on this Tuesday morning now. So we have, of course, the crime statistics that are going to be released this morning. Uh, the question is, are crime statistics a true reflection of criminal activities in South Africa? Please write to us. Add that hashtag Morning Live and the Twitter account is at Morning Live for SABC. Are crime stats a true reflection of criminal activity in South Africa? I mean, for instance, there was one story from last, uh, last year's crime stats that indicated that uh, the uh, attack on women had decreased by 4% and uh, of sexual offences had decreased by 6%. But is that an indication of the uh, crime stats that are going down or is it an indication of women not wanting to go report these crimes anymore because of the way that they are treated and uh, they feel that they'd rather actually just not go because it doesn't make a difference. I don't know. Your your thoughts, love to hear from you. Please do write to us at Morning Live SABC. Right now, let's uh, take a look at the big stories of the day. These are the ones to look out for. Expropriation without compensation questions to be posed to the president, particularly on discussion with British and US leaders. SOEs and the Chinese loans will also be in the spotlight today. Uh, President, that's... Oh, gosh, where did that disappear to? Let's have a look at that again. President Cyril Ramaphosa, Speaker Belek Mbete and NCOP Chair Tandi Modise will launch theme books published to celebrate the constitution and centenary birthdays of Nelson Mandela and Ma Sasolo. ANC SG Ace Makhashule has agreed to grant the SABC a one-on-one interview on the plot to oust President Ramaphosa. Now, it is scheduled for one o'clock at Latuli House in Johannesburg, and it'll happen today. So please remember to tune in for that interview. Ace Mahashule, a one-on-one interview with the SABC at one o'clock today. Uh, the other story to look out for, former water polo coach from Parktown Boys High School expected to testify today. Last week, some learners testified about the horrors they had experienced at the school, which is now perceived as having a culture of sexual abuse. Let's move on to our uh, trending topics on Twitter from yesterday and today, uh, Duduzane Zuma, of course, is the, uh, the, the one that we looked at in the news this morning. And I think it's a, it's a huge about term by Duduzane saying that he is now going to testify at, uh, the, uh, um, at the, uh, the Commission of Inquiry into State Capture. So that's going to be a very, very interesting uh, cross-examination, which is going to follow that as well. He also wants to cross-examine some witnesses and uh, then he's going to give his testimony. So. Yeah, look forward to that one. Carlos Ramos. Now, Carlos Ramos uh, shot to fame. I'm not sure if it's for the right reasons, but he shot to fame after that awful incident with Serena Williams at the U.S. Open. Now, everybody has got their own opinion on how they feel about this particular incident, whether you are in agreement or not in agreement. Uh, it is a very, very big story. But one thing I can tell you what happened overnight, um, as this, the, this is the story I, I am reading that's come out about Carlos Ramos, as the sport continued to tear itself apart over the Serena Williams sexism row, the International Tennis Federation stepped in on Monday night to defend beleaguered umpire uh, Carlos Ramos. In the absence of any representative body to speak for the tennis officials, it fell to the ITF to say what should be evident to all. Despite Williams' repeated insistence that Ramos owes her an apology, he was just doing his job when he penalized her a point and a game during Saturday's tumultuous women's u.s open final so the international tennis federation standing by their umpire and saying that he had all the right to do what he did and of course serena williams is uh, trending as well and i mean serena I, I, I we had that cartoon that was up and she has come under such immense criticism and this was a cartoon that came out i think it was from an australian newspaper and i mean that just again is it is showing her in such an awful light you know and i mean you don't need something like that that actually has nothing to do with the actual story that unfolded and the amount of support that has come out for Serena Williams has been incredible. I mean, the Women's Tennis Federation are right behind her, but then there is the other side of the divide that are completely against her. So uh, you make up your mind where you feel. I watched it and uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm 
it was devastating to watch, to say the least. It really, really was. It just wasn't, a, I think, a fair representation of, 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 of what should have happened. But uh, nonetheless, we, we'd love to hear from you on that one. Okay, I think there's more trending topics. Moses Mabida is uh, one of the stories that is uh, trending. And I think Moses Mabida is going to be home to the finals. And uh, big finals taking place over there. They, uh, they uh, uh, got to host this, uh, this major event. And uh, it's uh, between... Uh, Cape Town City FC and Supersport FC, the MT8 fi- MTN8 final in Durban on the 29th of September. And that is now going to be the host. And uh, we've just heard that announcement. And then, of course, COPE and AFRI Forum. They are the ones that are, are definitely uh, ones making headlines with that partnership. But COPE's coming out and saying, definitely not. That's got nothing to do with the party. But that was a decision by Musiwe Lakota to join hands with AFRI Forum on the land issue. So that's uh, an internal debacle there and then i also see that my money is trending and please forgive me i have no idea why i'm trying to figure that one out but uh it's up there on the screen i'll look for it and uh, I'll, I'll let you know why it's trending uh, i'm not too sure producers haven't told me as yet why that one is up there i'm looking on my twitter feed can't find anything but there is obviously a reason why wait here it is. Hold on. I've just found it. Maya Mani criticized the ANC, saying the recession was not a result of global economic conditions, but was homegrown. I think that that is the story as to why um, uh, Maya Mani is trending. Okay, quarter past six here on the program. Let's get you.